Today, I'd like to talk about Chinese diagnosis in contrast with uh, Western diagnosis. As I mentioned before in my previous video, uh, Chinese diagnosis is an ancient method consisting of four steps. Observe, listen, question, and pulse read. Here are the Chinese characters. It's a holistic approach based on the interconnections between life, health, and nature. Chinese diagnostics is heavily influenced by Chinese cultural thinking and practice. And as such, Chinese diagnostics is full of uh, cultural myths and abstractions. Let me point out one example. Uh, we usually talk about the imbalance between yin and yang. When you think about the imbalance between yin and yang, you will notice that this diagnosis can be applied to almost uh, any problem that can occur in the body. So, an herbalist who uses this kind of diagnosis has to be able to pinpoint what are exactly the real problems. Now we come to Western diagnosis. At the beginning, Western medicine is also an herbal folk medicine, like all the others. But since the early 1900, due to the invention of uh, science and technology, Western medicine began to incorporate all the scientific discoveries and methods. Uh, nowadays, uh, we will we'll find that Western medicine is very heavy in technology, in equipment, but also very high in costs. And Western medicine has also developed into uh, many specialties, and they specialize in many isolated fields. As you can see, Western medicine is full of technicalities and scientific myths. And very often, we hear people talk about health problems and diseases using technical terms. I'd like to point out that in Chinese medicine, some things have to be borrowed from Western diagnosis. The first thing that comes to mind is blood test. Blood test is not a Chinese invention. Uh, for example, there are many problems that uh, need a blood test to confirm, such as high cholesterol, high blood sugar, cancer, AIDS, blood infections, and so on. Another thing that we have to borrow from the West is related to micro, chemical, or mechanical aspects. Examples are, if we talk about virus, enzymes, acidity, specific toxins, heart valves, stomach walls, etc. All these, we have to rely on Western diagnosis to confirm the condition. Finally, I'd like to point out that human judgment is very important in diagnosis and Chinese medicine emphasizes heavily on human judgment. As a matter of fact, most of the illnesses that occur every day do not require very complicated blood or laboratory testing. Uh, let me give you some examples. Fever, joint pains, allergies, fertilities, menstrual problems, skin problems, and so on. If you want to find out how these problems are diagnosed in Chinese medicine, please view my other videos. Frozen, foes of angel hair and ice cream castles in the air and feathered canyons everywhere. I've looked at clouds that rain 
But now they only block the sun They rain and snow on everyone So many things I would have done But clouds got in my way I've looked at clouds from both sides now From up and down and still somehow It's clouds illusions I recall I really don't know clouds at all Moons and tunes and fairest dreams The dizzy dancing way you feel When every fairy tale comes real I've looked at love that way But now it's just Something's gained in living every day.